Welcome. Welcome, everybody. I'm Emily Roberts. I am a Diamond Senior Gold Ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. I've been doing this thing for almost a decade. That's freaking crazy to say. I'm not your normal diamond. I'm really loud. I'm really Southern, and I tell it like it is. So welcome to our Friday Zoom. Here's what you can expect. It's going to be a 30-minute Zoom call. We're going to talk about how to make money in this Plexus thing. What is Plexus? It's a great, fantastic network marketing uh, business opportunity. But before we dive in, I have a special guest that kick off these calls with me. All of these people have started at one point, their day one. So if you are here, drop your rank in the chat. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what your goal is. Are you going to rank up in August? Are you going to grow your business in August? You know, tell me something you're proud of that you've done so far in the month of August. We're so glad you're here and we want to celebrate that. But the thing is about these special guests is their day one might identify with one of you. Maybe you're going to sit here and be like, wow, wow, been there. Wow, done that. Or, oh my gosh, she's talking to me. Or, oh my gosh, he's talking to me. Okay. So today, my special guest, her name is Maria. I love me some Maria. I'll never forget meeting her for the first time in person. And I think it was Mexico. And we had been Facebook friends and had, um, we're not on the same Plexus team, you guys, at all. There's like nowhere, like we're, we're sidelines is what we call it. But um, I had apparently encouraged her some way, somehow in something that I had posted and shared or a training video I had done. And she was like, I just really like you. But what's even funnier is it was her husband who sought me out of the crowd and was like, Emily, thank you, Robert. come here, come here, come here. I have to introduce you to my wife. And I'm like, okay. And my husband's like, who's this guy? You know how husbands are, right? And he's like, who's this guy? And I'm like, I don't know, but apparently I need to meet his wife. Well, then it all clicked and I saw Maria and I was like, oh my gosh, like this is so great. And she had earned the Emerald Extravaganza trip, which is a bonus, luxurious, you can't dream it up if you could even fathom that Plexus allows you to earn. It's a part of our comp plan. And that's, that's where we got to meet. Like what? I got to meet somebody in Mexico on a five-star vacation. Like who are we, the Kardashians? I don't know, but I'm so glad that Maria is here. So real quick. I want her to tell her story because I'm not going to do it justice, but just to kind of give you a little bit, a little bit of backing. Um, this is what she allowed me to share with you guys. And good Lord, I got like goosebumps. Okay. Um, I said, meet Maria, a mom once on unemployment with no plan B who was ready to file for bankruptcy just so she could spend a little bit more time with her children. She saw the Plexus business model and thought, that's an opportunity that's for me. I could work on my health and treat it like a career and do it from home. And that's what she decided to do. She had done it so well and worked her business so hard. She found that she had $46,000 in her Plexus wallet. That's how hard she was running. She wasn't looking left. She wasn't looking right. She just had a goal to be home with her babies and to not live paycheck to paycheck. Okay. She had $46,000 in her Plexus wallet and was like, I don't trust myself with this money. Does anybody relate to that? You didn't trust your, like, maybe you didn't think you deserved this success or maybe that's what you're avoiding in this. And that's why you're like, I don't know if Plexus is for me. I don't know if I could be a leader or step into leadership. I don't know if I could handle all that kind of money, right? So that's the thoughts. That's the mindset that Maria had. And it led to the purchase of their first home without bankruptcy. So I'm going to turn it over to Maria because she's going to fill in all the gaps and answer all the questions I'm sure you guys have. So Maria, I'm going to share my screen and show off your beautiful family. Hold on real quick. Let me pull it up here and I'm going to let you take it away. Okay. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You guys to be sharing here a screen and a presentation with Emily Roberts is like a dream come true. My husband met, well, knew who she was because I used to watch her training videos and I still do on YouTube. And he would be in the living room where I was watching them on my computer. And so he would always hear what Emily had to say. And I think where he adapted or where he related to your families, because my husband's also military. And so it just like, Emily, you convinced him. So thank you because of that, we're here. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna take you back to 2015. Uh, during this time, my husband uh, and I had relocated with our one-year-old and three-year-old and I was able to collect unemployment because I left my job. Um, during this time, you guys, I was like up to here in credit card debt. Um, I just had very 
bad spending habits with money that I didn't have. And I racked up big credit card bills. And fortunately to my favor, the unemployment check that I would get uh, would help cover the bare minimum on like eight credit cards. And so I was happy because I'm like, well, this check can cover the minimum. I don't feel bad that it's coming out of my husband's check. So, so long, live unemployment, as long as I could be home with my one-year-old and three-year-old. But then I realized that this unemployment was going to end sooner or later. And I really wanted to be home with my one-year-old and three-year-old girls. And I was just like, something's got to be, you know, and I even considered a bankruptcy because I did have a lot of credit card debt. And I told my husband, what if we file for bankruptcy? And that way I don't have to pay any of that money back. So any of you relate to that where you just don't see an end. And I was like, there's no way out, you know, there's just no way out. Um, and my husband said, no, absolutely not. We're not going to do that. So the next step was for me to go back to work. And I did not want to go back to work after being home with them for about like it was like three months, four months, something like that. I was just like, what if I dive into this? Cause I was seeing friends making money on plexes and being shouted out because they helped some, you know, their friends or they got, you know, to the next rank or, or level. And I was like, what is all this about? So I had two options. And one of my options was one, go back to work and put my one-year-old, three-year-old in childcare. And most of my check paycheck would go to childcare. And my husband was like, yeah, we could do that. You know? Or the other thing was to go all in with this opportunity. And I will tell you, I am not um, an expert in this. I had no idea. I come from zero background and I didn't know anyone that was successful in network marketing. And I just like, even just the word itself kind of like, give me like the, the feel like I can't do this, but my desire was so much bigger than what people would think of me because our kids, you know, I'm like, I really wanted to be home with my, my little girls. So I just dove right in and I saw something that I was like, well, what if, and I just remember posting on social media and wanted to hide underneath my bed. I'm like, what are people going to think? But you know what? That fear was like in, it wasn't even like there after I saw my big dream of being home with them. Um, you know, but unfortunately being home, it, it was just, our finances couldn't allow it. And I had to do something about this. So there was times that we were even late on our payments uh, to credit cards. There was times that we had to put stuff back at the grocery store. How many times, you know, do you go to Costco, for example, and you have all these samples and you want to try the things, but you're like, I don't know if I could afford this. So you put things back. So when I saw the first glimpse of the business opportunity, I dove right in. And what if this could help our family with our finances? What if I could you know, cover the minimum payments on our credit cards? What if I could pay for ballet classes for our girls? And so I just trusted in my friend and I trusted in this opportunity. And I'm so glad I did because it has given us uh, stability financially and also freedom. And let me tell you, when Emily tells you that I did have that money in my wallet, I did. I did not trust myself with money because I have had money before and I would just spend it and I didn't have anything to show offer. I never was smart with my money. So I just left it in the Plexus wallet and I would pay myself my minimum payment a month to cover the minimum payments on my credit cards as long as I could, you know, see those like pay off. And so one of my biggest desires was, yes, to be home with my little girls, but also to move back to our hometown where our family is. I have an 81-year-old mom, and she's the best. We, you know, we are very close, very tight. We're a Mexican-Hispanic family, and I really wanted my children to live close to her, but I felt like I, I felt, this is my own feeling, like I didn't have a say because I didn't have that income to bring home. You know, my husband was the breadwinner. He never made it seem like that. But I thought, you know, what if I could afford a house or what if I could, you know, save enough for a down payment? So that money that was in the Plexus wallet at one point, I remember I had just like, I really want to move back. So I was driving like four hours twice a month to come see my parents, actually eight hours. And I told my husband, I'm like, I finally sat down and I saw that amount in my Plexus wallet. And I said, do you think that this could make it towards a down payment? And his jaw dropped because we've never seen that kind of money lump in one at once. And he said, like, where did you get this money from? And I'm like, I've been saving it because I didn't trust myself with it. And I didn't know what to do with it. I don't know if I should put it in a savings account or a CD. I didn't know any of that. Like finances just scare me. Uh, anything with money, because I've been really bad with money. My spending habits were not the greatest. 
And he saw the opportunity of potentially buying a home and moving back to where we are now. We're close to my mom and close to my sisters, nieces and nephews. We're really, really, really close. And so just to say that this portion helped go towards a house. And also at the same time, that same year, I paid off my last credit card, which was like $25,000. And I'm like, you know, this money is just sitting there. So might as well just pay off our last credit card. But this has opened up so many doors um, for our family, like to go and pick up the kids from school, take them to school. Now they're all in school. My last one, my baby is five years old and he started kindergarten just this week. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, like I've made it. Like this was a big goal of mine to be home with my babies while they were home. So I don't know what this may look like for you, but if you are thinking that there's no way out out of financial debt, uh, maybe you want to be home with your babies 24 uh, seven. There is a thing some people, you know, I do enjoy being with my babies and there's times when, you know, I also need a break, but I'm just so grateful that this gave us not just the, the, the financial stability, but also the flexibility to be there and to pay extras like this summer, you know, club volleyball camps, extras for school supplies and school clothes shopping, all of that. So because of this, we eliminated credit card debt and we were able to buy our first home. And now it's also a vehicle to help others. I mean, it always was, that was just the ground floor, but, um, uh, Emily, I don't know if you want to talk about too, you know, the possibility of going into the Hispanic market. And that has been a huge blessing for us. We have, you know, we have three markets that I work with and it's, you know, I have an amazing team, um, both in Mexico here in the United States and also a Hispanic team. So that's three markets that I didn't even know, like I could tap into, but you also have that ability to tap into and just bless others. And at the same time, bless your family. Golly, anybody else just kind of like have their jaw on the ground. <laughs> I mean, Maria, 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 Maria. I feel like we should break out in a West Side Story song. And I'm sure you've heard that your whole entire life. However, I'm so proud of you. Like, I'm so proud of you. Look how you've transformed your life. And then you've been a stepping stone for so many others to take that day one step too. And I think that that's just remarkable. And sometimes you just need to take a deep breath and be like, wow, look what we did here. Like, we really did that like happy tears. You know, you've cried so many sorrowful tears and God totally provided this opportunity to you in a time where you were like, this isn't really what I was looking for, but I'll take it because daycare is expensive. And I have that, I have that story too, of being a corporate American mom and a military spouse and being like, okay, if I, if I did take this job and I did put my son in daycare, I would have been working for free because it, the, the cash flow and the expenses, I mean, good grief. So thank you for sharing so honestly and authentically, because I know sometimes it's hard to do and it's hard to kind of reflect like been there, done that, but it's so good for you because I don't know if you see the comments, but so many other moms and women and grandmas and teachers and military spouses, they're going through that right now. And so your story has encouraged them to take this a little bit more seriously. And that's where I come in. So I hope I have permission today to just kind of give y'all some tough love and encouragement to show you that network marketing is a completely legitimate way to work, okay? Uh, our competition these days is not other network marketing companies, just fun fact. It's actually DoorDash, Amazon delivery drivers, Uber and Lyft, like that is who we compete with. And so the reason why you're on this call today is because you're hungry for more. And I don't mean you're hungry for lunch. Maybe you are. I know it's lunchtime. A lot of you are eating right now, but you're hungry for more knowledge. You're hungry for personal growth. You're hungry for accountability. You're sick and tired of yourself, right? Not just sick and tired of your life and debt and that, but like, you're like, I'm, I'm annoyed with me. Like I could be better. I know I can be better. I know I want more for my life. So these show me the money zooms are exactly that. We start with a real life story, as you heard from Maria today. And now I'm asking you like, why not you? Of course you can do this. Of course you can. Of course there are going to be things you have to learn. 
of course, you're going to have to learn a little bit about the industry, right? Just like learning to ride a bike or going to the gym for the first time, or maybe walking in faith for the first time and, and believing in something bigger than yourself. Like you have to learn about that. You have to learn to trust yourself again, because so like Maria is like, I didn't trust myself with money. So many of you are like, I've tried everything. I've tried it all. I don't stick with anything. And so you're, you have to learn to trust yourself, prove to yourself, look at me taking my products. Look at me showing up on social media and putting myself out there. Look at me reading this personal growth book, right? I know you got to put the Colleen Hoover books down for a minute and you got to pick up a personal growth book. It's all right. You might learn something new today. So why not you? And then for those of you that are like, okay, Emily, I've heard the stories. That's why I'm here. I want to earn money. So maybe you want to earn $300 in the next 30 days. That's a part of our fast start program. And here's something I got to say real quick, just for legality purposes, Plexus makes zero income guarantees. Everybody's income, the money that Marie has made, the money that I've made, I'm going to talk about today is because of our work ethic, our consistency, our skill set, and the knowledge that we have acquired since day one. It's going to look different for everybody. On average, people in Plexus that do this and dabble in it make about $544 annually extra cash. Whether it's $544 or you're making 200 grand a year with Plexus, money is money. And that is the only thing that pays our bills. It's the only thing that puts gas in our cars. It's the only thing that keeps the lights on. It feeds our babies. It feeds our families. So if you're sitting there thinking, I'm not here for the money, bull crap. And I know that's a bad word in some houses, but I'm going to say it. Bull crap. You need money to survive in this world. And there's, and if you have some type of feels right now, you're like, I'm logging off. I don't like her. Okay. Well, that's a you problem. Here's the thing, you guys, we need money. And if you're avoiding that topic, you're avoiding the reason why you have nine credit cards, you need money. And that's what this opportunity opened my eyes to was it taught me how to manage money because I started to make a lot of it at 24 years old and I freaked out. I can't imagine. I can't imagine the type of money that I was making. And I was like, wait, this isn't a bill. This is income, right? And like Maria said that too. She goes, her husband asked her where she got that money from. Like, honey, where did you get that? Like, I get it. So how do I begin? Well, I'm so glad you're here. Let's start by asking ourselves some questions. Why would I be excellent at sharing Plexus? For example, you already know how to use Zoom. And that's how a lot of us connect and tell stories and train and believe you already have social media. And if you don't, you don't even have to have social media to be successful at this. A lot of people love that belly to belly interaction. Um, many of you are too busy. Y'all are my favorite. Y'all are my favorite people. Cause I was that girl. I was like, I'm too busy. I'm a 16 hour college student. My husband's deployed. I'm moving across country. I have a new baby. Like I get it. Here's the thing about life. It doesn't stop. It doesn't slow down but we can prioritize the things that we want. We can put those, those blinders on and look, you know, we don't have to look left and right at what other people are doing, but we can pursue goals and dreams and the things that we've wanted for so long, even if we're busy, even if we're busy. Okay. So what if I'm not a salesperson? Well, I'm so glad you asked because here's the thing. How many of you have kids? Go ahead and put it in the chat. Just be like, I got kids. I got grandkids. I, I borrow my friends, kids. I got puppy kids, whatever. Everybody's different here's the thing. Here's the thing. Do we not sell bedtime to our children? Do we not sell broccoli to ourselves? Like I need to, I need to eat this. I need to eat this because it is good for me. And it helps my eyesight and it helps this. And it, like, right. We're, we are salespeople. Everyone has an opinion that they have found belief in. And they're like, man, I want other people to believe this and love this the way I do. So naturally we are salespeople. You might not like that word or terminology for it, but at the end of the day, you're selling your kid on a 7.30 p.m. bedtime, right? You're selling your husband on that girly chick flick versus the, the action movie. You are probably a salesperson and it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It can be a passionate thing. I'm so passionate about this. I'm so passionate about this. I just really want you to love it and see it through my eyes. What if we told our stories instead of trying to just make a sell? What if we just told our story like Maria did today? What if we just had the courage to just step out and be like, listen, I am not where I was a few years ago. And let me tell you how I got there. It started with a pink drink. It started with a probiotic. It started with belief bigger than the state of Texas. All right. And here's the thing. What if I'm too busy to dream? Like I mentioned, if you have multiple things on your plate, you are really good at holding all the plates. <laughs> you are multitaskers have huge networks. 
They know how to prioritize and set goals and chase them. And they know how to encourage others to just do all the things. And it's available to you right now. So um, the, the picture on the far left, that's my son. He's my middle child. And he said, mom, I want to play baseball. Any baseball parents in the house? Is baseball not ridiculously expensive? Like gymnastics, cheer, competitive cheer, right? Baseball, basketball, swim, golf. It's a, you have to pay for the, the equipment and you have to do like raffles and the gas to go to all over the state. And like, I think about the parents that just want to put their kids in a sport because you want them to make friends and you want them to be challenged and learn something, but it costs money. Remember, we're talking about money today. It costs money. Okay. I'm the busy mom with three kids in three different sports and I'm doing this plexus thing full time. And you know what? I don't have to work this plexus gig 40 hours a week. Like I did my nine to five job. However, I love it so much. That sometimes I do. And I get myself in trouble. And my husband's like, girl, you signed up to work from home and enjoy it. What are you doing crazy? But here's the thing. It pays for baseball. It pays for gymnastics. It pays for the lessons. Okay. And so the picture in the middle is Jessica. Jessica's on my team. She is an Emerald ambassador, which you will learn about that in just a minute. And she missed out on the first five years of her daughter's life because of alcoholism. And so her plexus story and her plexus dreams are a little bit different than mine and Maria's. She's creating memories. She's creating freedoms and income so that she can spend that time at home more one-on-one -on -one because she, she's aware of the mistakes that she made. And her sobriety is very important. That's where gut health supplements come in. She's healing her body from the inside out. And then her daughters, they're so cute. They get to be there every step of the way. And she's not missing anything. And then you have Lindsay. Lindsay shared last week, if you were on, great. We're so glad you're back. Lindsay is a great example of the mom that was a stay-at-home mom, had a passion for teaching and wanted to pursue things, but they cost money, but she couldn't get off the couch because her health was so awful. And so she's like, I just knew if I could stay consistent on these products and afford them monthly, then I was onto something. And so that's why she began this Plexus gig. All right. And what I mean by begin this plexus gig is, you know, we're naturally salespeople as we've already determined. And here's the thing, me plus three, our first rank in the plexus business is silver. And that means that you've shared your referral link with three people who've made a $100 purchase. That's it. That's the first rank. That's the first paycheck. You know, even if you just use your referral link one time, you're looking at anywhere from 20 to $45 back. So you're already making an investment back into your business. You're already making money back just by the power of referral. Here's the thing about the power of social sharing. How many of you have used your social media to recommend a recipe, to recommend a paint swatch on your wall, to recommend your favorite comforter or a yummy sweater or your favorite you know, fall recipe? It's like 104 degrees here in Texas. I can't even imagine what fall is going to be like. However, we're daydreaming over here. So imagine the things that you've recommended, but they make you money. What? I don't know about you guys, but I've recommended a lot of Starbucks drinks and a lot of Home Depot paint colors, and they've never deposited money in my account, like literally not once. But you know what? I like taking vitamins. I like feeling better and having energy and learning about gut health and the way that my body works because we only get older, right? And I like that I get paid to refer my vitamins to other people. And so I knew if I could help three people get started, that would build belief in myself. My brain would no longer hate me and try to talk me out of it. But instead I could provide my brain the evidence of like, look at me, I'm doing this thing. I'm sharing with people. And of course, some people are going to say no, right? Some of you are still a little skeptical, but just know when you use your referral link three times in the next 30 days, you can make over $300 in fast start bonuses as a new VIP customer. I love that. I love it. It's a referral program and it pays. So um, on the right, I mentioned Jessica was an Emerald ambassador. Maria is Sapphire. I'm a diamond ambassador. So on this little graphic, you can see the different ranks and the annual income averages for each rank. So which rank on the right would make a difference for your family? The majority of you, I'm just like, you can put it in the chat. I love it when you put it in the chat. Absolutely. Here's the thing though. Uh, most of you, of you are going to stop like right around here in this little pink and red bubbles, the senior golden ruby, like that's about as far as you'll allow yourself to dream. However, some of you, oh, Autumn, here for it. She's like, Diamond, yes, girl. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Why not? Why not you? Wouldn't Diamond significantly make a difference? I had no idea what was available for me. I literally signed up myself 
because I wanted to get a pedicure and I didn't want it to cause a fight with my spouse. I know it sounds vain and selfish, but I like getting my toes done. I was used to my corporate America income. And then when I became a stay-at-home mom, you do a lot of work, but you don't get paid any monies. And so I wanted to make money, but I really wanted to be a mom too. And so the thing about getting to Diamond, it was like unbelievable, you guys. I couldn't believe that this journey for me, it happened in 21 months. I reached the top of the company in 21 months. And I learned that our compensation plan in Plexus is the best in the industry. It allowed room for me to grow as a person and within the company. It also showed me, okay, if I'm willing to work for this goal, that there really is no limit on what I can learn and what I can do. And there's no timeline. You guys, even if it took you 10 years, would you want to spend 10 years sitting behind a desk working for an entrepreneur? Or do you want to take on the entrepreneurial role and work for yourself and discover truths about yourself and your work ethic instead? That's how I looked at it. Because as a diamond, I was allowed to give back more. I was allowed to pay off my debt quicker. I was allowed to be home with my children. I was allowed to retire my husband early from 20 years in the Marine Corps. Instead, he served 10 years and now he gets to do what he wants for the next 10 years in, in a government role that he didn't even know was available to him. Which rank would make a difference? You guys, even if it, you hit silver, you know, 1800 extra dollars annually that you got to make from your phone in your kitchen, watching your kiddo play Uno with his brother. You know what I mean? Like, just like, think about that for a second. It's incredible. A couple of things I want to touch on in case you're just now logging in. We had a few people just to hump on. In Plexus, you can create residual income. You can earn vacations and prizes, which that's super fun. Where are my fun people at? Party people. Uh, that's how I met Maria. I told y'all I was in Mexico and her husband was like, oh, so I'm like, why is this man yelling my name? But it was just so cool. Like I would have never, ever met Maria and her husband if it wasn't for Plexus. Like, that's so cool to me. I wouldn't know any of you guys that hop on these Zooms if it wasn't for Blexus. Like, do you, are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Like, to me, that is just, it's so cool. You can also build your legacy. You know, once you get to Diamond, you can be, you can re-enter and become a re-entry Diamond and do it two times. That's what I'm doing myself right now. But we also have the Star Diamond program. So then you turn around and you pour into that minimum four people in your team and you help them get to Emerald, Sapphire, and Diamond. And you become a star diamond, a three-star diamond, a four-star diamond. It just means more money, more leadership, but also more value. And it's so rewarding to see the evidence of your belief in this opportunity and the products and like other families' lives being changed. For example, this is my friend, Trisha, in the picture. She's got a gazillion kids. I know. Those are all hers. Yes, she knows how babies are made. And yes, they own a TV. She's heard all the questions, okay? Here's the thing about Trisha. Trisha works really hard. And she is incredible. She went diamond. And then over the course of this summer, while we were at our Nashville convention, she decided I'm going to do it all over again. I'm going to do the re-entry diamond thing where you start at zero and you go back to diamond and you do it all over again. So you get paid twice as a diamond. What? I know. Plexus allows that and I'm here for it. And here's the thing. She grew from, see this rank? Hold on, let me go back. See that silver, senior silver gold, like this one here in the middle, Ruby. She got to Ruby in 37 days. So I'm, for those of you that are like, I'm too busy. I don't know my mindset. Blah, blah, blah. She's got seven kids. She homeschools. She has a social media account that she has to keep up with for, um, she, she's a minimalist or um, decluttering your household. So if you don't need it, kind of like uh, Maria Kondo of the Plexus world. I love me some Trisha. Like that's her thing. That's what she's great at. But she is, she is proof that you can do this too. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say is like, she did that in 37 days. What are you going to do in the next 37 days? You going to think about it? Might get on another one of these Zooms. Are you going to make a move? Are you going to build your legacy? Choose the income that you want to make, make a plan and write it down. So if you want to get started today, for those of you that are brand new to Plexus, you're going to pick out your products on the website, get with the person who invited you to this Zoom. They have a special referral link that's attached to them. And you're going to order products from them, sign up as a VIP customer that gets you some discounts, gets you that referral link where you can either earn product credits or cash. You have the choice. And then you get excited and you tell people like, look, this is what I did. This is what I'm doing. Get out of my way. That's how I like to say it. Like I said, I'm really Southern and sassy. 
And so this picture, I, I ended up putting it on the PowerPoint. It had, it was not on the PowerPoints before, but I kind of like it because it's a great reminder of where I started. So in the top right corner, you can see refer one friend, get 35 bu back refer three friends, six friends, nine friends, 17. How many of you have talked about pumpkin spice lattes on the internet this week? Anybody? Anybody? Okay. I don't like pumpkin spice lattes. I know. Don't come at me. However, a lot of you have posted about them on the internet because it's pumpkin spice week at Starbucks. How many of you have talked about back to school and where you get your school supplies or homeschool supplies? How many of you have referred somebody to the best running shoes ever because they're so comfortable? Do you see what I'm, do you see what I'm doing here? We refer things to people all the time. Imagine referring gut health supplements, better energy, better sleep, a better mood, a cleaner, clearer skin. You refer 20 people in your first 30 days. You're looking at an extra two grand. I I'm right now in my brain. I'm thinking of the things that could go towards, right? I'm thinking of school supplies, braces, bills, a date night, like just anything. Maybe you want to give back to your community. Maybe there's a single mom in need that you just really want to bless, but you don't know where to begin because you don't have the extra cash. That is what we mean by refer and earn. The referral goes so beyond you. In that picture in the bottom that I was just talking about, that's me. That's my little boy. He's nine now. And he's an everyday reminder of why I started Plexus. I've been doing it for nine years. He was six months old when I signed up. Scott was deployed to the middle of Afghanistan. I never heard from him, never saw the guy. And we had been married for about four years and I missed my husband. I missed him. I just, I mean, you marry someone and then you're like, bye. I hope you come back from deployment. Like it was just not a lifestyle. I saw myself being a part of, but I did it willingly because I loved him and I love our country. And I knew what he was doing with serving our country. And I remember on the 4th of July, when I signed up, I picked my products. I picked the gut health system. I signed up as a VIP. There was a little coupon special at the time. Your girl was trying to save some money. And when I signed up, I was thinking to myself, like, I really hope this works. I really hope this works. And here we are nine years later. Okay. Nine years later. May you have the courage this week to begin breaking patterns in your life that no longer serve you. Give yourself permission to pause and reflect today. And remember, taking care of yourself doesn't mean me first. It means me too. You guys are so worth it. Your family is worth it. Your dreams are worth it. Dream so, so big. Make a plan, write it down and pursue it passionately. Tell others, like, look, it, this might not be for you, but it's for me. So watch me or join me, right? That's what I've been doing for nine years. And there's going to be people that tell you no. There are going to be people that tell you yes. And there's going to be people that run to the top that outrun you, outrace you. Wouldn't that be cool to have a level one diamond? I, I tell you what, I am so glad that you were here. Thank you for being on this call. We will see you next Friday again at noon Central Standard Time. Thank you, Maria, for sharing.